Welcome back to Hero Handmade YouTube channel. This is the continuation of making this beautiful pineapple doily. We have already completed this until the round 8 and here we are going to start from the ninth round today. I hope you have completed this until the round 8. To start the round 9, chain 3 and make one double crochet into the same space and again chain 3 and this chain 3 is going to be a pico of chain 3 so to make the pico insert the hook into the third chain from the hook yarn over and pull through the chain and pull through the loop now we have completed the pico and after that we will make one more double crochet into the same space and then chain three And make one double crochet into the next chain 3 space and chain 3 to make another pickle and then the pickle stitch insert the hook into the third chain from the start yarn over and pull through the stitch and pull through the loop And then we are going to make two double crochets into the same chain three space. One. And two. And now chain three. And make two double crochets into the same chain three space. One and two. Then chain five. And then we are going to make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet over here. Insert the hook into the stitch on top of the double crochet. Yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop. And then chain 3 and make a slip stitch into the second stitch by skipping one again chain three and skip one stitch and make a slip stitch into the next stitch Again, chain 3 and skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch and then chain 3 again and Skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch. Now chain five and 
and we are going to work into the first chain three space over here make two double crochets into the chain three space And chain three and work another two double crochets into the same chain three space and chain three to make another pico. And then work the pick hole by inserting the hook into the third chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull through the chain and pull through the loop. And make one more double crochet into the same chain 3 space. chain 3 and make one double crochet into the next chain 3 space chain 3 to make a picot and then work the picot And now we will work two double crochets into the same chain three space. And chain three. And make another two double crochets into the same chain three space. And then we are going to work five chains and work a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet over here. Now chain three and skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch again chain 3 and skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch again chain 3 And skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch again chain three and skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the last stitch over here and now we are going to chain five and then repeat the same pattern five more times until the end of this round
Now I am at the end of the round 9. Chain 5. Then we need to make 2 double crochets into this space over here. Now chain 1, and make 1 half double crochet into the second chain from the start of the round. Now we have completed the round 9. We are going to start the round 10. Start the round 10 by chain 2 and make one double crochet into the same space. And chain 3. And then we'll work a picot and make one double crochet into the same space. And now chain 5 and then we are going to work a slip stitch into the middle stitch of the chain 3 space over here. Insert the hook into the middle stitch. yarn over, pull through the stitch and pull through the loop and chain 5 and we are going to make one double crochet into the chain 3 space And chain 3 and make a picot stitch and again two double crochets into the same space one and two then chain three and then work another two double crochets into the same space Now chain 5 and then we are going to make a slip stitch into the first loop over here.
and chain 3 and make another slip stitch into this chain 3 loop here again chain 3 and make a slip stitch into the next loop and chain 3 and make a slip stitch into the last loop now you can see the pineapple is appearing chain 5 Now we have to repeat the same thing again. Make two double crochets into this chain 3 space. And chain 3. Make another two double crochets into the same chain three space again, chain three. And then work a pick hole. and make another one double crochet into the same chain 3 space and now chain 5 and then we are going to make a slip stitch into the middle stitch of the chain 3 space over here and again chain 5 and make one double crochet into the chain 3 space over here chain 3 and a pico And make two double crochets into the same chain three space and again chain three another two double crochets into the same chain three space And we have completed that set. Again, chain five make a slip stitch into the first loop. Again, chain 3 and make a slip stitch into the second loop of chain 3 of the pineapple chain 3 and make a slip stitch into the next loop again chain 3 And again make a slip stitch into the next loop mm -hmm. 
and now we need to chain 5 and repeat the pattern until the end of this round Now I am at the end of the round 10, then we are going to make 2 double crochets into this space. Chain 1 and make 1 half double crochet into the second chain from the start of the round all right now we have completed the round 10 and we are going to start the round 11 chain 2 and make one double crochet into the same space and then chain 3 and then work a picot stitch and work one double crochet into the same space and then chain three and then we are going to work a treble stitch into this chain five space yarn over twice insert the hook into the chain 5 space yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through 2 yarn over pull through 2 yarn over and pull through 2 and chain 8 And work one triple crochet into the next chain five space and now chain three Now we are going to work into this chain 3 space. Work one double crochet chain 3 and make a picot Two double crochets into the same space chain 
chain 3 and make another 2 double crochets into the same chain 3 space. And then chain 5 slip stitch into the loop over here chain 3 and a slip stitch into the next loop again chain 3 And make a slip stitch into the next loop and chain 5 now we have completed one set I will show you how to do the next set two double crochets into the chain 3 space And chain 3 and make another 2 double crochets into the same space chain 3 and a picot stitch And work one double crochet into the same chain three space chain three and now work one treble into this chain five space And then chain 8 and work another treble into the next chain 5 space And chain 3 and now we are going to work into this chain 3 space make one double crochet chain 3 because stitch And make two double crochets into the same space and chain three and make another two double crochets into the same chain three space. Now chain 5 and make a slip stitch into the chain 3 loop over here, chain 3, make another slip stitch into the next loop, chain 3. 
and we will put a slip stitch into the next loop as well now chain 5 and now we are going to repeat the pattern until the end of this round now I have come to the end of the round 11 then we are gonna make two double crochets into this space and chain one and make one double crochet into the second chain from the start of the round all right now we have completed the round 11 and then we are going to start the round 12 start the round 12 chain 2 and then make one double crochet into the same space and chain 3 and then we will make a picot stitch then work a double stitch into the same space now chain 5 then we are going to work one treble stitch on top of the treble stitch of the previous round and after that we need to make 12 treble stitches into this chain 8 space one two and 12 after completing 12 treble crochets make another one triple crochet on top of the triple of the previous round all right now we have completed 14 trebles over here and then chain 5 and make one double crochet into this chain 3 space chain 3 and make a picot stitch And make two double crochets into the same chain three space and then chain three 
and make another two double crochets into the same chain three space And now chain 5, work a slip stitch into the chain 3 loop. Chain 3 and work another slip stitch into the next loop. And chain 5. Now we have completed one set this is the next set we are starting make two double crochets into the chain three space then chain three another two double crochets into the same chain three space And chain 3 then a picot stitch next one double crochet into the same chain 3 space now chain 5 Make one treble on top of the treble stitch on the last round. And then we are going to make 12 trebles into the chain 8 space over here. Once we complete 12 trebles into the chain 8 space, we need to work another treble on top of the treble of the previous round. And all together we have 14 trebles over here. Then chain 5 and make one double crochet into this chain 3 space. chain 3 and make a picot stitch and make two double crochets into the same chain 3 space And then chain 3 and make another 2 double crochets into the same chain 3 space. And now chain 5, work a slip stitch into the chain 3 loop, chain 3, 
chain 3 and work another slip stitch into the next loop and chain 5 and then we need to continue the same thing until the end of this round this is the end of the round 12 and then we are going to make two double crochets into this chain 3 space and then chain one and make one double crochet into the second chain from the start of the round now we have completed the round 12 and we are going to start the round 13 chain 3 and make one double crochet into the same space again chain 3 and make a picot stitch and work one double crochet into the same space And chain 5 and now we are going to work one treble on each of the next two treble stitches over here one treble on top of the first treble and another treble stitch on top of the next treble stitch And we have done two treble stitches and then chain two and make one treble on each one of the next two treble stitches. One and another one on the next stitch. Again, chain 2 and make one triple stitch on top of the next two stitches. Again, chain 2 and then repeat the pattern one triple on top of the next two stitches chain two and one triple on top of the next two stitches chain two and two triples chain two and again two triples Just like that and then chain 5 and make one double crochet into the chain 3 space over here and chain 3 and make a picot stitch And two double crochets into the same chain three space chain 
chain 3 and 2 double crochets again into the same chain 3 space Now chain 5 and make a slip stitch into the loop of chain 3 here and now chain 5 And we need to repeat the pattern again I will show you once make two double crochets into the chain 3 space chain 3 again two double crochets into the same chain 3 space And chain 3 make a picot stitch and then work one double crochet into the same chain 3 space now chain 5 And then work one treble on top of the first two trebles of the previous round one and then make another treble on top of the next treble and chain two then work one treble on each of the next two stitches one and two then chain two then make two triples on top of the next two treble stitches again chain two and then work two triples on top of the next two stitches again chain two and two triples again chain two and two triples again and chain two and two triples again and then chain five And make one double crochet into the chain three space over here and chain three and make a picot stitch And two double crochets into the same chain three space chain three and two double crochets again into the same chain three space Now chain 5 and make a slip stitch into the loop of chain 3 here 
and now chain 5 and then we need to repeat the pattern to finish the round 13 we need to make two double crochets into the space and chain one and make one half double crochet into the second chain from the start of the round 13. Now we have completed the round 13. And we will start the round 14. Chain 2. And make one double crochet into the same space. And chain 3. And work a peacock stitch and work one double crochet into the same space and chain five and we will work one treble stitch on top of the each of the next two stitches one treble on top of the first treble and another treble on top of the next treble stitch and chain five And work one treble on top of the each of the next two treble stitches one on the first stitch and we will work another one treble on the next treble stitch and again chain five We will continue like this, two triples on top of the next two triples, one and two, then chain five, again another two triples on top of the next two triples, chain five and another two trebles on top of the treble stitches and chain five again another two trebles on top of the next two stitches and again chain five and make the last two treble stitches on top of the each of the next two treble stitches and after that chain 5 and we are going to work into this chain 3 space now make one double crochet and chain 3 And a peacock stitch and make two double crochets into the same chain three space and 
and again chain 3 and make another 2 double crochets into the same chain 3 space And then chain 2 and we need to repeat the pattern I will show you once more make two double crochets into the chain 3 space here and chain 3 and make two double crochets into the same chain three space and chain three and work a picot stitch and one double crochet into the same chain 3 space and then chain 5 then we are going to work one treble stitch on top of the each of the next two treble stitches one treble on first stitch and we have completed the second treble and then chain five and then work another two treble stitches on top of the next two treble stitches And again chain 5 and then 2 trebles chain 5 again 2 trebles chain 5 and 2 trebles chain 5 2 trebles chain 5 and 2 trebles and after that chain 5 and work into this chain 3 space work one double crochet and chain three and work a picot stitch and work two double crochets into the same chain three space and chain three and work another two double crochets into the same chain three space then chain two and repeat the pattern until the end of this round this is the end of the round 14 to end the round work two double crochets into this space chain one and work one half double crochet into the second chain 
of the start of the round 14. Now we have completed the round 14. Now we will start the round 15 which is the very last round of the project. Chain 2 and make one double crochet into the space. And chain 3 and make a picot stitch and work a double crochet into the same space and chain 3 and work another chain 3 and make a picot stitch insert the hook into the third chain from the hook yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop again chain 3 and we are going to work 3 treble stitches into this chain 5 space One, two, and three. Then chain three and work a picot stitch. And work another three triple stitches into the same chain five space three. And now we are going to repeat it for each and every chain 5 spaces here. Make 3 triples, chain 3, a picot stitch and 3 triples to each and every chain 5 spaces. I have done three triples now and chain three and a picot stitch and another three triples And we will continue the pattern. And now chain three again chain 3 and we will work a picot stitch into the third stitch from the hook and chain 3 and make one double crochet into this chain 3 space. And chain 3 
an apricot stitch and then make two double crochets into the same chain three space and then repeat the pattern start from two double crochets into the chain three space chain three and work a picot stitch and one double crochet into the same chain three space chain three again chain three and work a picot stitch into the third chain from the hook again chain three and we are going to work three triples into the chain five space and chain three and work a picot stitch and work three triples And now we will repeat the pattern until the end of this round. Now I have come to the end of the round 15. To close the round, we need to put a slip stitch into the second chain from the start of the round 15. And then chain 1 and we are going to cut the yarn off as we have completed the doily now we have completed our doily i hope i have explained all the steps clearly for you if you have any questions regarding making this you can comment on the comment section below and thank you very much for watching.